One of the neat features about the stadium is that when we uh, did the renovation five years ago, we did a $25 million re total renovation of the stadium. And, and what we did is we stripped back the stadium back to its 1930 configuration and exposed the architecture that is just beautiful on the east and west side of the stadium with the Gothic, collegiate Gothic arches. And um, really tried to highlight um, the old architecture. So we tried to retrofit a stadium that was basically designed in the 30s to fit in the uh, up-to-date century for ADA standards and, and convenience and comfort. The biggest challenge and the goal that we set the architect out on was that we had to make it fit into our campus, our current campus architecture. So it had to, by adding a tower, it had to look like it belonged on our campus and that it had been built and been here for 25 years. And so the key is, was trying to add the Tennessee lead stone to, um, to, to areas that made it fit into that's our signature stone on campus, that tan stone that you see on campus. We tried to, uh, you know, charge the architect with, try to make it look like it had been here forever, but also strip back the architecture to, to expose the, you know, the original stadium. And also add, you know, some architectural flair to the, to the glass, the use, with the use of glass and, and, um, modern amenities. It opened in 2008. How's the reaction been? It's been great. I mean, the, the stadium, it, it's no secret that the stadium had been neglected for years prior to the renovation. And we looked at several different options at the time um, that started, you know, the project started out anywhere from 12 million to 60 million dollars. And um, we did find a a project that started out it started out as a design build project mm -hmm. because we were designing it as we were building it and so as we were uncovering through demo then we developed a, a game plan and uh, it was a nine month aggressive project we started directly after the last game of the season January 1st and it was ready for September of that year obviously we had no place to move football games <laughs> so we had a deadline that we had to meet that was was a hard deadline. You know, even when we opened up the first game, we were still finishing up areas, plaza areas, and some common areas. As funding increased, then the design increased. Mm. <laughs> How hard was it to add things or design on the fly as you were going? Well, you still have the base. So you had the stadium field. The field's the same as it's always been. And so everything worked out from around that. So really the areas that we changed and upgraded the amenities when the money just started to get in was the restroom areas we just had priorities concession areas fan um, and game game environment enhancements the case the case building in particular um, has done wonders for our football program but the fact that now they have a home for their for their for their team um, with modern amenities that enhance recruiting.